So I thought I'd do a little impromptu video here on the iOmega Click removable storage system because, you know, we were doing some stuff underneath cleaning the house and there's, of course, stuff stored under there and I happened to find two iOmega 40 megabyte Click disks. Now, I had the Click drive. This used to be stored up in the attic, so, of course, stuff gets kind of thrown around when it's stored for periods of time. And I've started getting some laptops that use the whole PCM CIA or PC card expansion system. And these are what you used in it, were these PC cards. Those were where all the pins go. And iOmega made these PC card versions of the iOmega click drive. They were also used for certain types of digital cameras and also media players. Of course, the whole idea of click was because that's the sound of a, that the camera makes. So they were primarily geared around removable storage for digital cameras, but they also made these to use in notebook computers. So, I've had this in the attic, but of course I had no click disks until I found these two underneath the house, and they've been in their cases, and I'll be curious what data is on here, if any, or if the disks are even readable, and if they have to be formatted or not. But there is data on these, we'll be able to see the modification date of the files. That'll give you an idea just how old these disks are, because the last time I had anything that worked with iOmega click drives and click disks, I sold more than a decade ago. So it'll be interesting to see what we've got here. So I'm going to install this in a Windows 98 laptop, or a Windows XP one, depending what I choose. And we're going to have a look at these two disks. So I brought out a Toshiba 1415S173 laptop with Windows XP, but of course the big thing is, of course, it's got PC card slots. So I'm going to go ahead and put this iMega click drive in it and let it get initialized. So there was the little drive initialization. Look at the monitor here. And there's a little pop-up to say that it's installed and ready to use. So let's see if we go into my computer. We should find a new removable drive. And look at that. In fact, the software on here is calling it a Pocket Zip 40 and not an iOmega Click. Now, I didn't mention this previously. But iOmega ran into a patent issue or even lawsuit about the iOmega click name for these disks and for their drives. And so I think either click was in use by somebody with a patent or they filed suit over it again for probably because the name was in use for something else. So iOmega decided to change it to pocket zip for their drives and their disks. And Basically, they look identical to this. All they did was have white and red, and it said pocket zip instead of click on it. But that was pretty late in the game, and then eventually the whole click pocket zip drive system went away. So, anyway, the drive is on there, so let me take a look at this one click disc here. Get into the case. And these little 40 megabyte discs look like just like this. They have a little protective metal shutter. It slides back when we insert it. So we're going to put it in and see if this disc has any data on it, if it can read it. And again, we'll see just how old the data is on this disc too. Let me find the drive here. Side. Let's come to the other side. It didn't sound too good. It, uh, <laughs> that PC card had a hard time reading the disc, but did it actually read it? It did not. Hmm. We either have a drive problem or a disc problem here. Oh, and the 
disc is not wanting to come out. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to eject the card drive. The disc is stuck in it here. Okay, one moment. So I can say that that unfortunately did not work out very well. It looks like we have a dud click drive here. I've checked both of these click disks and the media is not hung up inside on either of these disks so it didn't stall the drive out but the spindle motor when it tried to read the disk sounded horrible and I don't know if there was other problems with it. It's just that it's aged from sitting up in the attic where there's temperature changes, humidity changes. I guess just hasn't been kind to the electronics in this click drive. However, it does allow us to get a look at the inside of one of these. Because again, here's your spindle motor that rotates the disc. You've got a little spring looted arm on the side here. This is what helps open up the metal shutter on here. It goes in the side there so that as this is being inserted it can pull the metal shutter back. And then we have a little read-write head here, kind of like a hard disk. And when you look at the click disk, let me show you it here. Again, the metal tab goes in the side here. Get that to unlock it. And the metal shutter comes back like this to expose the magnetic media. That it writes on and then when you take the disc out closes it locks it back up so when you look at this it's almost like a hybrid of a hard disk and a floppy drive because these are like 40 megabyte floppy disks with a shutter over them to cover the media but then Instead of something like a floppy drive, a zip drive, or one of those LS120 super disk drives where the head goes straight in and out like this, it's actually using an angular head, like how a hard drive writes, because when you see a hard drive writing, the head kind of moves back and forth like that on it, and then goes back to a resting place when you take power off of it. So, again, it kind of looks like an interesting hybrid between a floppy disk and a hard drive. Anyway, when you insert one of these discs, we can visually show it here. So the disc goes in. That little metal tab pushes on the side there to tell it that it's okay to open the metal shutter. As we push it in, pulls that shutter back. This arm comes forward. This spring gets compressed. And then it locks it in. Now, the problem I had with this is the disc was not locking in any further after I had to kind of forcibly remove it after it failed because you see it just doesn't want to stay in place. It's also popping out here because the lid actually helps keep the disc in there. So it would be like that and then the head would come out across the media like so and of course that would write to your disc in there. yeah see if that's not going to work so unfortunately I didn't get to show you that because again the drive is faulty but these discs look like they're still okay so I just need to find another click drive off of eBay or something like that and we'll be able to revisit this video but for that there's not much else I can show you about the I'll make a click drive other than this what I've got here